All right, I'm going to do a quick video um, just to show you how to create a Google Meeting link um, that you can use throughout the course of a year, and the link won't change on you. Um, in the past, we've used various methods to create Google Meets. Um, we have used nicknames and the like, um, but this method will ensure that your link doesn't change. And you even have the ability to add a co-host if you need a colleague to be able to start the meeting and end it without you. Um, so the first thing that we want to do is make sure we're signed into our VBCPS Google account. And we want to access our calendar. So the way we do this is to set a calendar event and add a Google Meet option in that calendar event. I'm going to go to my gray waffle and down the calendar. If you are like me, you have a ton of Google um, calendars. You just wanna make sure this event is on your personal VBCPS Google calendar. And I'm going to go to in-service week because um, that'll help me remember when I set this, but any day is fine. I'm just gonna click on a day and time and I'm gonna call this office hours. Um, you don't have to set a specific date and time that you are actually going to start this Google Meet. You don't need to have it repeat. You don't need it to be all day. You just need to have it um, be at a date and time at some point for it to keep this link. We're going to come down to add Google Meet video conferencing. Click the blue button. And you'll notice that a link is generated for us. Now, the easiest way to get that link where it's actually hyperlinked is to copy the conference info. If you end up pasting it, you'll notice that you've got a lot of information that you've actually copied. Um, what you want is the video call link. That's what you're actually going to want to make sure is hyperlinked. And that's what you're going to put um, maybe in your Canvas course or email out to colleagues. Um, that's your Google Meet link. So if we come back to our actual calendar event, there is the opportunity to add co-hosts if let's say we have an inclement weather day and maybe your colleague has power, your co-teacher has power and you don't, you can add a co-host. The first thing that you need to do is add this individual as a guest in your calendar event. And you wanna again, make sure you're using your VBCPS Google account for this user. Once you've added a guest, you can come back to the Google Meet settings. Video call options is this cog wheel here. Click on co-hosts, and then you can go ahead and start to type the name of the individual you added as a guest. That name should auto-generate. You'll see them as a co-host and click save. Now, again, um, at this point, you wanna make sure that you save the calendar event so that this Google Meet is set. So let's click Save. Um, you can send an invitation email to your co-host if you want to. I'm not going to at this point. And then you have um, a Google Meet link that is set. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to your ITSs. Thanks.